Welcome to Amish News. I'm Amish OG. In local news, Sambon Traggers from Marlette, Michigan, Eli L. Beaches of Kenton, and Levi Beaches and six kids from Hamilton, Missouri all spent the night at Perry E. Beaches. They had come for the wedding at Alvin B. Miller's. Their daughter Irma got married to Freeman Bontrager, uh, David Perry's boy. The sites of us were Alvin's Andy and David Perry's Miriam and Alvin's Ben and Sam Miller's Melinda. In Dixon, Missouri, they had a severe storm and strong winds, which caused damage to Daniel Yoder's tomato patch and Toby Miller's asparagus. In Lakeville, Ohio, they were laying block for Robert Troyer's new house. They were hoping to have the house finished by the end of the week. In Litchfield, Kentucky, Malin Gingrich's son Abe's came by from Etheridge, Tennessee for a frolic to put siding on the house and washouts. In St. Charles, Minnesota, a church was at Norman Dotweiler's, and the kids who started taking baptism classes for the year were Junior Yoder's Raymond, Levi Raber's Ben, Paul Yoder's Eldon, Daniel Gingrich's Freeman, James Mass's Irene, and Perry Beach's Sadie, and Toby Dotweiler's Susie. So, may we all send prayers as they start their journey. And in worldly news, lawmakers in Washington are trying to raise the debt ceiling again. Currently, it is at $31 trillion. It is the equivalent of a, a, a normal person going to the credit bureau and telling them that you need your credit score raised. So, good luck with that. And may, may we say a prayer for um, the future of this country. Weather today, looks like it's going to be a little cloudy today. We might have some rain by the afternoon. Stay dry out there, folks. Happy weekend. Everybody stay safe and God bless.